Welcome to Fancy Smack Talk. I'm Dustin sitting here at Nameco. This video is going to wrap up our center tiers. Be sure to check out all of our other tiers and rankings and don't forget that cheat sheet on the site. Brent, let's head into tier six. All right, tier six starts with Roy Hibbert, that monster out of Georgetown. He had a pretty good season last year, but he was very, very streaky. If he becomes consistent, he actually is probably going to be a great fantasy play. Next, we got friend of the show, JaVel McGee. We expect him to have a pretty big breakout year. John Wall's arrival helps McGee probably more than anyone. He's going to be able to just throw him oops, and McGee's going to be getting up Goofiest and dunking him. player ever. He's still athletic as hell, though. I love Mr. Mesa McGee. Next, at number 18, we have Anderson Verjao. Looks like he's going to be starting for the Cavs. With LeBron gone, there's a lot of stuff to go around, and he's good at getting stuff. Then at number 19 and 20, we have Yao Ming and Greg Oden. The reason these guys are listed this low is they're an injury waiting to happen. It seems like every play, every season. So just make sure they slip in drafts far enough that you're getting the right value for these guys. Tier 7 starts with b -trends. You know, Anthony Randolph's gone, so he should have the starting center job out there if he can stay healthy. He is coming off of an injury, but look for him to have solid numbers if he doesn't get hurt. Next, we got a couple of Sacramento Kings and Dallin Baron Cousins. You know, it's a mess out there with the four and five with Carl Landry and Jason Thompson also out there. There's just not enough minutes to go around. We're kind of afraid of all of these guys, but they are late, good late round picks. They just don't t take Cousins too high. Next, we got Greg Monroe out there in Detroit. All he has is Ben Wallace in front of him. If Wallace gets hurt or Monroe just outplays him, he could have a decent amount of value. And the last guy in this tier is Splitter, the rookie out there with the Spurs, but he's not really a rookie. He was drafted a few years ago and sent over to Europe to play. And the Spurs are pretty good at getting people out in Europe and bringing them over and having value. He's an interesting pick. We'll see how he pans out. Tier 8 starts off with Elton Brand. Anyone that gets paid that much money, we feel we just had to rank, but we're really not huge fans of him this year. Next, we have Jermaine O'Neal and Shaquille O'Neal, both playing for the Celtics. Don't overdraft these guys based on their name. They're really going to cut into each other's minutes. Next, we have Sleeper Alert Darko. I know I've been saying that for years, it seems, but Minnesota paid him a lot of money. He is going to be starting at center. You can probably get him really late, and his blocks per 48 minutes are always really good. And then rounding out Tier 8, we got Mehmet Okur. The reason Okur made the list this low is because he's going to be out until January, but when he comes back, he's always a solid fantasy option based on the fact that you can get a lot of threes out of your center. So that'll wrap up the centers. Be sure to check out all the other tiers and rankings videos. And Javel, if you're watching, you, know, you can come on Anytime. the show. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime you want. He would love it. I would, I would. And I would love to see one of your crazy, weird, flailing arm layups. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. Javel, where you at? <laughs>